delighted to be able to read you a little bit of the new book, Hope for the Best. I'm not giving very much away, as you can imagine. Um, but basically, Max has joined the Time Police. And this is Dr. Bairstow making his announcement. Dr. Bairstow made the announcement a couple of days later during one of his fortunately infrequent all staff meetings. The first item on the agenda was ethnicity forms and our failure to realise the importance of. Every couple of years, Thirsk bombard us with a mountain of forms variously requesting details of age, stroke, ethnicity, stroke, religion and so on. Dr. Bairstow calls an all-staff briefing and silently hands out the forms. Most people regard them as an exercise in creative writing and, two days later, equally silently, he collects them back up again and bundles them off to Thirsk. I've no idea how they're received there, but I do know that one year Bashford stated his colour was green and he'd been born on Olympus Mons, lower left-hand quadrant adjacent to the lava tube on the right. I should say now that as far as I know, Olympus Mons remained his official place of birth for quite some time, until a little while ago when he applied for a passport and the authorities swooped for their revenge. He was released from custody after less than a day, not because he'd cooperated in any way, Indeed, the silly sod hadn't helped his cause at all, insisting on speaking to everyone in what he called Martian, but was actually Latin, a fact dis discovered only when an ancient academic accidentally wandered past. He was lost and looking for the bar. Recognising the lingo, he enthusiastically joined in. Personally, I'd have arrested the pair of them, but they were released without charge. Bashford was returned to us with a written warning on his record, an inconvenience soon forgotten in the joy of being reunited with the jubilant Angus and Miss Sykes, of course. After the ethnicity forms, there was the usual stuff. Dr. Bairstow cleared his throat. Subsequent to last week's fire drill, may I congratulate those who, on hearing the alarm, had the intelligence to vacate the premises. I would, however, like to invite some of you to reconsider your assembly point. I cannot feel that your habit of congregating in the area adjacent to the oil tanks, because it's out of the rain, sir, enhances anyone's chances of survival during a major conflagration. Although it is, of course, entirely your choice and as always, I hesitate to interfere. He paused so we could appreciate his non-interference and then continued with the big finish. With effect from the day after tomorrow, Dr Maxwell is to be seconded to the time police to assist them in their hunt for Clive Ronan. I am sure we all wish her well. An astonished murmur ran around the room. I folded my arms and stared at my feet, refusing to catch anyone's eye. The briefing concluded and we dispersed. <laughs>